So this is a double bell euphonium. This is a cornet. It's called a quinticlave. Q-U-I-N-T-I-C-L-A-V-E. This is a hurdy-gurdy. Instruments can be as varied as the people who play them. And there's some operas written about the hurdy-gurdy. Some of them are hard to play. And some of them are inherently not very good instruments. In this collection, there's an instrument for everyone. This is an over-the-shoulder tuba. It's like a Dr. Seuss instrument. Uh, it's an incredible collection. And all these instruments belong to one guy. I think Virgil is an admirable human being, okay? He's, uh, he's always looking for a way that he can make a contribution. <laughs> If I was warmed up, it'd be a nicer sound. And, but it would take me a while because my lip is pretty old too. Virgil Hughes owns dozens and dozens of these old instruments. His musical career started off simply enough. I didn't start on a clarinet until I was in the second grade though. That, that, I was an old man with that time. He joined the army um, at the outset of World War II, stayed in the army for years, but Due to uh, his particular assignments, he had free time when he was waiting for the next assignment. So he decided to uh, start building hurdy-gurdies and dulcimers. I built quite a few instruments, and this is a simple one. What he couldn't build, he bought. And believe it or not, at 95 years old, there are still things missing from his collection. There are actually six different sizes of this instrument. I only have five. I'm looking for the, the fifth. <laughs> I want to suggest that you go out and look in the trailer where Virgil has stored another 80 or so. And this is just the, the trailer that I have. The instruments, uh, for just storage for instruments is its only purpose. And almost everything is playable. A few things I haven't yeah. gotten to yet. Virgil does plan on getting everything in working order. Well, there's an over-the-shoulder E-flat cornet. There's a side drum. From the odd... It's called the Appalachian Dulcimer frequently. To the what in God's name? Hurdy Gurdy. H U R D Y G U R D Y. Everything needs to be playable before he gives the collection a new life. It's probably going to go to a history of music department, probably at Greeley. Some of the instruments will stay with him, though, so the rehearsals can continue for the people who've helped him out along the way. Brian Wendland, 9 News.